Tropical Storm Francine is expected to become a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico within the next few hours. It is on track for landfall tomorrow evening in Louisiana, possibly further east. South Texas already received heavy rain and a storm surge from the outer bands of the storm. Most of the upper Texas coast will likely avoid the worst of it, but Governor Greg Abbott says people in coastal areas should stay ready. As we all remember, Beryl took an unexpected pathway. We must be prepared for Francine to also lead to unpredictable pathways uh, as it gets closer to the shore. The governor's referring to the widespread power outages after Hurricane Barrel that left more than 2 million people in the Houston area without electricity for several days. Centerport Point Energy says more than 1,000 workers are clearing vegetation and pre-staging right now in case Francine causes similar problems. Well, uh, the good news for the Texas coast that uh, is that this system, while yes, we expect strengthening, it keeps shifting a little more to the east and east as new model data comes in. So we're likely going to see the brunt of this impact Louisiana and portions of Mississippi. But as Steve mentioned, yes, yeah, some of those outer bands already bringing rainfall to parts of Louisiana and the Texas coast. We still believe this is going to become a strong, at least category one hurricane, could be borderline two, sustained winds 90, maybe 95 miles an hour with higher gusts as it makes landfall uh, mid to late afternoon early evening hours tomorrow as it moves inland of course it will weaken but uh, this is going to be a big time rainmaker as well as a ton of surge along the coast up to 10 feet in some spots along the Louisiana coastline and it's typically that northeast quadrant that has the most intense rain wind and that tornado threat so we're talking areas like Baton Rouge as well as New Orleans that will be dealing with those conditions as well. Still believe a widespread four to eight inch rain total once all is said and done expected with isolated areas up to a foot of rain. So yesterday there was a little bit more rain potential for Houston. Today not so much because of that eastward track. Just a just a few miles can make all the difference and of course for us here we're expecting very isolated showers at best so most of us will not have any rain in the gauge. I think the better chances for that will likely be in East Texas.